Well, boys, like most people, my bracket is completely busted. Even my Sweet 16 bracket is completely busted because UCLA decided to lay an egg last night. Or, no, they didn't even decide to lay an egg last night. They played pretty good. They just couldn't hit shots in the very end. They could not hit shots while North Carolina was hitting their shots. North Carolina won the game 73-66. And then St. Peter's decided to show up. Like, they're playing some of the best basketball in the nation right now. St. Peter's North Carolina matchup, people are saying that St. Peter's going to get blown out by North Carolina, that North, the matchup is terrible for St. Peter's. At this point, I'm convinced St. Peter's winning the national championship. I am convinced that St. Peter's right now is going to win the national championship. That's They didn't even produce shot better than them from field goal range. They had a better three-point percentage, 28% to 23%, if you can even count that. Purdue out-rebounded them 37-26, to 26, but Purdue had more turnovers. They had more turnovers than St. Peter's, and St. Peter's defense just overwhelmed Purdue's guards. They just overwhelmed them. That's... I'm shocked that St. Peter's beat Purdue. I really am. That's steals. St. Peter's had nine to Purdue's two. St. Peter's plays just efficient enough to stick around with good teams. And then their defense comes in clutch. Their defense just comes in clutch. Free throw percentage. St. Peter's shot 90%. They missed two shots. They missed two free throws the entire time. They fouled more. Purdue had more turnovers. Purdue in every metric besides turnovers outplayed St. Peter's. And from the three-point line, but... The three-point shot was 6 for 21, 5 for 21. Come on, Ka. In every metric, Purdue, besides three-pointers and turnovers, they won the game. But no, the 15th seed, St. Peter's Peacocks, are just breaking the NCAA. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. They're just breaking the NCAA. 67 so Purdue was up 33 29 then St. Peter's outscored them by seven in the second half and ended up winning the game by three I don't understand how this happens to a team like Purdue good for St. Peter's I'm they're fun to watch I hope they beat North Carolina I'm convinced St. Peter's is winning the national championship now we got Arkansas, Duke, Houston, Villanova today. Should be two quality games. Should be two very quality games. But let's just talk about North Carolina UCLA for a minute. What a game. What a game. North Carolina was losing at half, 31 to 28. And then outscored UCLA by 10 in the second half to win 73-66. The score doesn't show how close this game was. UCLA had a better field goal percentage and three-point percentage. North Carolina turned the ball over more, but they out-rebounded UCLA by tenfold. That's that's how they lost. They got out-rebounded by almost ten. Oh, and what should I call it? Caleb Love. He had a career game tonight, or last night. He had a career game. Thirty points. Off of 45% shooting, an efficient, quality night from Caleb Love. That's This game was so much fun to watch. It really was. That's I'm in sh my, pick, my team I picked to win the national championship, UCLA, got... They lost to North Carolina. And now, I honestly do think that St. Peter's win the national championship. I think it's going to be St. Peter's versus Houston at, at this point. No, probably in all seriousness, it's going to be Duke. Uh, no, I, it honestly might be North Carolina versus Houston. I still see Houston winning their side of the bracket. And at this point, Houston, I think, will win the national championship. I think that they can take down Duke. I think the North Carolina matchup will probably be the best game possible for them. And the St. Peter's, that will just be a low-scoring affair. I think Houston still pulls it off, though. But I think Duke, if they were to play Houston, might beat Houston. 
But if they played North Carolina or St. Peter's, they win. So, yeah, what a crazy, crazy March Madness so far. We're going to get some phenomenal games. We will be getting Houston Villanova tonight. We'll be getting Arkansas Duke. And then tomorrow, Kansas Miami. That Kansas should win that game. North Carolina St. Peter's. We're going to get a quality matchup tomorrow and two quality matchups tonight. It's it's going to be a it's going to be a fun ride to the end of this tournament. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video if and want more content like it, consider subscribing and leaving a like. Until next time, this is Taldega. Watching college basketball and signing out.